Hi there, welcome back to another edition of Nothing Exceptional. This review is of Spider-Man 3, starring Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, James Franco, Topher Grace, and Thomas Hayden Church. Well, let's figure it out together. One, they changed how Spider-Man got that black gooba suit that became Venom. Two, Bruce Campbell did not have that big of a role in this movie. That guy's amazing. Three, I did not like how they changed comic book history altogether to make Cain Marco, played by Thomas Hayden Church, who then became the Sandman, into the killer of Uncle Ben. That pissed me off. Pissed off a lot of people from what I read. The effects were good in this movie. Some of the acting was crap. The scenes where the alien symbiote affected Peter Parker and changed him into this goth kind of weird guy. I just wanted to beat the hell out of my face so I wouldn't have to watch it anymore. The dance scene? Come on. The <clears throat> hair? I hated that part. Now the effects, however, for the Venom suit were good. I thought Topher Grace had an admirable performance as Eddie Brock and as Venom. Topher has recently stated that he thinks that the Tom Hardy Venom movie that's coming out is going to be so much better than his ad adaptation, but I haven't watched it yet because it's not in theaters for me. The last thing that bugs me about this movie is where they changed Harry Osborn into a good Green Goblin. That There's so much wrong with this movie that could have been done in a different way. You can still watch it. It's a watchable movie. And if you don't care about little things and you don't pick it apart like my weird brain does, you might enjoy it. With this movie, the good doesn't seem to outweigh the bad. I can only give it two out of five stars. That's as much as I can give it. So until next time, don't be a dick. <laughs>